a fool, but I'll, uh, I'll do this. So, I don't know. I have a uh, hundred stories. Uh, Can you hold the microphone? And Jim's, um, or I guess uh, when John Tester was up on the, on the uh, screen, and Jim's mentioned he was a lobbyist, um, well, there's still one, one little snippet about Arrow was. So when Jim was lobbying, he called, you know, numerous of us to come and testify before the Montana legislature, uh, one of which was the, uh, was the uh, Montana Organic Definition Bill, which John Tester carried, actually, and uh, Jim kind of brought to, brought to fruition. Hold it closer to your mouth. Okay. Um, in any case, um, in those days, uh, you know, to go to the legislature, it was, it was uh, kind of protocol to wear a tie, okay? The problem was none of us that testified had a tie in the closet. <laughs> so when you went to testify, uh, you went up to the Arrow office and got the tie. <laughs> it was called the Arrow tie. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, to me, part of what that demonstrates is, you know, is... Um, the hands-on approach that Arrow has always had, right, and that and that uh, Arrow has always been, you know, an enabler. I think to you know to many of us, as far as to accomplish what we wanted to accomplish, you know, that maybe we didn't know where to start or what to do, you know. And Arrow has always provided, you know, the tools, whether they were physical tools, whether they were educational tools, um, whether they were just the incentive. Or whether it was a tie, <laughs> we covered a whole range. Anyway, um, so earlier Robin had asked me to, you know, write something in our um, that I think was going to maybe, uh, you know, a bit of a bio, which was like you know, whatever, forty to sixty words or something like that. Um, and the change of venue meant that it's not going to be used in the kind of the way it was intended, I guess, originally. But you know. Just, just allow me to read this if you don't mind. Hold uh, it closer to you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, hold it to you. I'll hold it closer to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Just bear with me because I'm not a very good extemporaneous speaker. But um, that's uh, not true. This is what I wrote. Okay. Uh, Arrow is the colorful thread, 50 years long, that has woven the tapestry of my life. Hands on renewable energy, organic agriculture, on farm research and advocacy, grassroots community building around a positive ecological impact, family farm survival, food production, resiliency. And Arrow has been the single tie that binds the vast majority of my personal, social, and long standing business relationships due to inspiring. The inspiring of community, caring, creative, and thoughtful activists. You know, um, that just comes from my heart, but I think that can be shared, you know, with, with many of us in the room, as Bud spoke to very eloquently. Um, Arrow has changed us, you know, and uh, Arrow has changed, you know, Montana, I think, in ways that uh, beyond what people maybe appreciate and realize. And, you know, when we look forward to the next 50 years, you know, I think uh, the people who, you know, basically take the leadership going forward um, in 50 years, they will also say it changed their lives. And that was the important part of, a very important part of being part of this amazing community. So, as Bud said, thank you for your giving me.